Hello and uh, welcome in this uh, presentation and demonstration uh, uh, for VerifySoft uh, technology. Uh, my name is Olivier Cass and I'm a senior expert consultant uh, in uh, embedded systems. Uh, today uh, I will uh, I will show how we could uh, integrate uh, within the uh, MATLAB Simulink tool from uh, the Matrux, uh, the uh, test coverage tool from VerifySoft. Uh, which is a test well CTC++. Um, just a few words about the agenda. Um, we'll go through some detail about uh, the tool chain that we plan uh, to use. And uh, what you can see today is a, is a proof of concept, demonstrating uh, the ability uh, to interface uh, the two tools. Uh, then uh, we'll go through um, the TestWell CTC++ uh, technology. What are the benefits of using uh, TestWell CTC++ uh, for native or embedded uh, projects? Then uh, we'll have a look uh, within the process of uh, embedded coder, uh, which is uh, taking uh, uh, simulink uh, models and uh, able to generate uh, code that will be uh, then uh, compiled and link uh, to go uh, on uh, on the target, we'll see how we can add TestWell CTC++ in the loop. Uh, so taking uh, the code uh, generated uh, by uh, the embedded coder um, module from uh, from Simulink and uh, putting instrumentation in order to have uh, a coverage uh, analysis. Then a demonstration when uh, we'll go through uh, an example, which is uh, indeed an example provided by the Matrix. Uh, and we just go through uh, the, the menus we added to uh, um, Simulink uh, for uh, putting CTC++ in the loop. So having the instrumentation on or off, basically, and the ability uh, to generate a coverage uh, report. So that's why CTC++ is a tool uh, that can work for both uh, native or embedded targets and uh, for embedded targets. Uh, it's really very easy to use and, and set up. We will see this in a, in a, in a minute. Uh, the instrumentation of a red uh, for uh, C files is uh, very low. That means that uh, we do have uh, customers uh, using uh, TestWell CTC++ on, uh, on very uh, uh, tiny uh, targets with uh, low resources as far as uh, RAM and ROM uh, are concerned. And it's very easy to, uh, to have any target uh, support it and um, because uh, it's uh, by scripting uh, the uh, toolset we're able to support any kind of compiler or cross compiler so uh, today for the demonstration uh, we'll use uh, Microsoft Visual Studio uh, uh, compiler or uh, the new GCC uh, compiler which is provided for running uh, the generated code on, uh, on Windows, on, on the PC where the MATLAB Simulink tools is, uh, is deployed. Uh, so we can consider in this case, this is a, a native project, but it, it, it's just a matter of selecting the right uh, cross compiler for, for the target. The, you will see that the process, the principle to, to put this to CTC++ in the loop is, is the same. There is no um, other uh, issue uh, to, to add CTC++ uh, for native or, or embedded uh, targets. So if you want to use uh, TestWell CTC++ for native projects, you you will be able to uh, to have uh, simulating projects uh, um, teaming with uh, Java or C Sharp uh, projects, for instance, uh, on top of C and, and C++ uh, uh, sources. So we provide uh, interfaces with uh, a, a lot of IDs, such as Microsoft Visual Studio and many others for uh, the embedded uh, world. So just go on uh, VerifySoft uh, website uh, to watch uh, other videos and uh, to please ask for, for any other question. Uh, about uh, MATLAB Sibling embedded coder uh, process, so it used to, to be called real-time workshop. So depending on the on the version of MATLAB Sibling you are using, uh, it could be named uh, either embedded coder or real-time workshop. So uh, we are using uh, today uh, the uh, 
2010 version and it was still uh, named a zero time workshop but if you use the current version which is the 2016 uh, you will see embedded coder uh, which is reference uh, for generating code so basically uh, the process is uh, uh, having uh, existing or uh, any model you, you you'd like to use in the simulink uh, uh, ide uh, then the real-time workshop uh, will uh, generate code based on uh, what they call a uh, um, profile and uh, within this process you define a target language and uh, a lot of uh, uh, setup to generate uh, uh, a set of C uh, files that will be compiled and linked uh, later on uh, by, by various uh, compilers uh, such as Visual Studio for instance from Microsoft for Windows or GNU GC if you want to go on the target for instance so uh, the process is then quite classical that means that once the code is generated and the make file uh, to produce this code is generated uh, then you you will use a cl uh, classical uh, a process to to get the the binary so the, the executable or the binary to be flashed on a, on the target and this is where uh, we can see how to uh, to add the CTC in, in, in the loop. So uh, this is a process that could be uh, seen after uh, the code generation from uh, the uh, Simulink uh, environment, uh, where you have a set of C files, uh, you are compiling and linking, then you will, you will get an executable. So in order to uh, add CTC++ uh, in the loop, we, we have a new phase which needs to be integrated uh, before uh, the, the compilation so it's called instrumentation and this is where um, CTC++ will um, make an analysis of the, of the code and uh, will uh, uh, put some uh, some counters in order to check any path uh, or any combination of props that could be used to check uh, uh, your, your code uh, using your uh, test vectors and uh, then uh, the regular comp compilation and linking phase uh, will carry on and then you will have some uh, some results so um, adding test ctc plus plus in the loop is basically having this pre-process phase where you instrument uh, the, the, the code generated uh, so you have a new set of files which will be then compiled and linked and produced an executable which is instrumented and two files and the first one which is called mon.sim which is a symbol file in which we put all symbolic information uh, from uh, the uh, code coverage analyzer and then later on from your uh, real results coming from your unit or integration testing you will get mon.dat uh, such as a data file uh, where all counters data uh, will be stored by um, uh, the tool when um, the uh, instrumented executable is, is run. Then we will be able by taking the two files, the one with all possible um, paths and uh, testing uh, props, and the one with uh, real uh, concrete uh, results to produce uh, some uh, uh, reports uh, that could be uh, in various uh, formats such as uh, raw text or uh, XML or there we will use for the demonstration uh, HTML where you can browse uh, the, the results uh, directly. So next step is to go to uh, to the tool, so to uh, uh, the Matrix uh, environment and uh, just have a look on uh, how it works actually. Uh, so the integration is based on, is based on, on two things. Uh, of course, the menus that uh, will be used uh, to uh, drive and, and uh, control how CTC will be put in the loop and then uh, generate uh, uh, the reports. But before that, uh, I want to explain uh, a bit how it works uh, from uh, the technical point of view. Uh, the uh, MATLAB um, Simulink uh, environment for generating code uh, is using uh, profiles or templates uh, for generating the, the, the C code and the make files and uh, we can have a look to, to, to one which is uh, defined uh, for visual uh, compiler studio uh, there so we, we can just now have a look inside and uh, so you have various uh, setup and the parameters which, which are used uh, for uh, making uh, 
uh, the right uh, make file for the for the compiler so we only have one line only one line which is interesting for uh, driving uh, CTC or adding CTC in the loop uh, actually this is one line where uh, you will have the uh, the compile um, command which is uh, needed for adding uh, CTC uh, in the loop and this is this parameter so this is make CMD and uh, by default uh, the Microsoft Visual Studio uh, compiler link uh, features taking make files and a set of generative files is nmake uh, so what we will do to uh, add CTC++ uh, in, in the loop it just copy and paste this file and just change edit this uh, parameter so by editing this uh, this file as you will see this line this is again the, the only one we need to to change we will pre-process by adding the ctc wrap command uh, that will take uh, the files and change uh, the, the process to have instrumentation as we have seen before and with some uh, flags which are minus v for uh, verbose uh, minus i m to choose uh, a multi-decision coverage uh, on, on level so and, and and this is it from uh, let's say setting up uh, the uh, code generation from uh, from simulink so now if we call uh, the uh, uh, example uh, which is standard example from the matrix so we, we didn't take uh, a specific example we, we took this one which is a uh, 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 an existing uh, example to generate uh, C++ uh, code and uh, we, you can even integrate some uh, user code if you want and um, so here we are in, in Simlink now so what we have done we have just had here some handwritten code uh, and you will see later on uh, once compiled and executed that uh, this text uh, is printed uh, in the console okay so now what what we can do is to go to the model uh, editor and uh, part of the integration uh, we've added a new uh, menu which is called ctc++ and uh, basically i need two sum menus the first one uh, which is to set up CTC++ on or off so working like before without CTC and uh, you can decide to have CTC in the loop and uh, instrumentation so you can switch on or off the instrumentation and use uh, the IDE as usual or uh, having CTC in the loop uh, within uh, uh, only this uh, mouse click and the second sub menus which is uh, to to generate uh, the, the report once you have done your uh, unit or integration uh, uh, testing so let's have a look to the first one so this is where you decide to add uh, test well ctc plus plus coverage so you we can decide to have off if you don't know in which mode you are you do have some uh, uh, pop-up here and here you also have a trace in the command window of, of uh, what uh, CTC is, uh, is doing so we can decide to have CTC on for instance and now uh, we can build uh, the uh, so generate uh, from the model uh, the, the set of files and launch the, the, the compiler link uh, uh, process and uh, CTC++ uh, plus plus will be in the loop so I just hit uh, control B uh, for build and uh, the uh, complete process uh, will be uh, uh, launched uh, from uh, uh, from CTC uh, uh, integration. So you should have some uh, commands uh, from uh, the, the tool set. So uh, these are uh, simulating code generation uh, uh, messages. So it's just passing the model, generating the code, and then finally you will have the uh, uh, process so and we could have a look here meanwhile of uh, what it's done uh, from uh, uh, the tool 
So various uh, C++ files. So generation report, okay. And uh, the mon.sim file, uh, which is uh, coming from the uh, analysis. Uh, so that means now we have an executable, so which is an uh, estimated uh, e executable. We have our mon.sim.file. So the next step uh, now is to uh, run our integration or unit testing and uh, produce a mon.dat file, which is uh, uh, getting uh, inside all the results so let's let, let's do it so as I said uh, we are now uh, adding this uh, unwritten code uh, as part of the complete uh, executable so uh, the executable is a, a, a result uh, from uh, uh, the model and in this model we added some unwritten uh, code uh, to uh, to have a complete application uh, for uh, automated code generation out of the models and some unwritten code. So next step now, uh, let's say that we have tested our application, so we're, we're happy with the results, but we want to know uh, how good was uh, the code coverage uh, testing. So this, this is where we can use the second menu from uh, uh, Simulink. Uh, which is to generate uh, the report. So we will take the two files, so mod.dat and mod.sim, and just launch a script to uh, produce an HTML report, and then the HTML report uh, will be uh, uh, launched within uh, an internet browser, a default internet browser, in order to navigate uh, within the, uh, the generated uh, uh, documentation. So uh, this is quite uh, a very quick and fast uh, process, uh, as you can see, and uh, so we we can now access to uh, the uh, uh, details of uh, uh, the execution. And for instance, we can check uh, the, the the code which has been tested or not, and then uh, uh, carry on uh, further within uh, uh, your integration and unit uh, testing. So just. Uh, using mcdc so uh, we have statement here mcdc uh, coverage so you will see that we 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 have some uh, um, test effectiveness ratio which is displayed here and uh, for sure we we will have to improve this because it's not that good uh, actually but this is just a very simple uh, demonstration for this uh, proof of, of concept so uh this is the end of this uh video this uh, demonstration so if you need to to have more more details feel free to uh, to reach uh, uh, verify soft uh, to to get for instance an evaluation or a complete presentation of our solution